presenting the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. These thrilling adventures come to you as they are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The big Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Last week, you may remember Flash and Dale and Khan, captain of the Hawkmen, flew in a rocket ship to the yawning mouth of Kira, the wild and forbidding cave world. While they were escaping from a fierce band of lizard men who attacked them during a scouting expedition, they were seen by Tall, the chief magician of the Blue Magic Men. Tall hurried with the news to his beautiful queen, Azura, who, attracted by Flash's blonde hair and wonderful physique, decided to get acquainted with him. By means of magic sleep gas, Azura captured the three friends. Then she gave Flash lithium, the drug of forgetfulness, so that he could not remember who he was or what had happened. And then Azura caused Flash to fall in love with her. At first, Dale and Khan misunderstood Flash's failure to recognize them. Later, they realized it must be some of Azura's magic and attempted to poison her. But the plot failed when the Queen ordered Dale to serve Flash first. To save her sweetheart, Dale dropped the tray, spilling the poisoned food. And Azura, furious at the apparent clumsiness, ordered her punished. Now we continue the story. Back in the kingdom of the Hawkmen, King Voltan and Dr. Zarkov are talking together. Ah, uh, Prince Zarkov, the palace seems empty since that pretty little bird flew away with Flash Gordon. Yes, Voltan, it does. I miss Flash and Dale also. But I suppose we shall never hear from them again. Not until he has conquered his kingdom of the caves and put it in running order. With Captain Khan to help him, that should not take long. He is an excellent soldier. Yes, I should hate to lose him. How are your newest inventions coming along, by the way, Zarkov? Splendidly, splendidly. I cannot thank you enough for the wonderful apparatus and laboratory you have turned over to me. It is... It is an inventor's paradise. Hmm. Yes, that's what it is. An inventor's paradise. Well, what is the latest creation of your great brain? It is... A... I beg your pardon, Bultan, but I dare not speak of it until I have tested it thoroughly. There must be no mistake, no flaw, when I give it to the kingdom. Oh, of course, of course. I like your passion for being precise, Zarkov. Someone is trying to get you on the space phone. Answer it, Zarkov. At once, Bultan. This is Zarkov speaking. What? Where? Who is it, Zarkov? One of Khan's lieutenants. I can't hear you. You what? Hold on. King Flash and Dale and Khan are captured by Azura, queen of the blue magic men. The lieutenant wants help. Tell him aid shall be sent at once. Find out his exact position. Huldan says he will send aid at once. What is your exact position? Tell him you will be in charge of the men. Yes? Yes? I have just been told I am to be in charge of the relief expedition. I shall start... Within the hour. Within the hour. In the kitchens of the Palace of Azura, Queen of the Ma Blue Magic Men, we find Dale and Khan. Come on, I'll move along back to that. Cheer up, Princess Dale. I can't be here for the way things are, Captain Khan. If only Azura hadn't asked me to serve the food to Flash. Well, she did. So there's nothing to be done about it. It wasn't your fault, Princess. It was the fate of the gods. I'm glad you feel that way about it, Khan. We must figure out a way to foil her magical power. Stop your whispering. Stir that suit. At once, guard. Yes. Carry that over here. Come on, now. Hold on, I don't see how I can help you to foil the queen. She's had me chained to the stoves as punishment. Now I can't even see Flash anymore. Yes, you can, Princess. How? The cane on your manacles will permit you to walk to the end of the galley stove there. From that point, you can look out the grilled window into the garden. No doubt Flash will sometimes walk by. With the queen? Yes, I'm afraid Azura will be with him. She seems to have claimed him as her own personal property. Khan? Yes, Princess? You don't think that Flash has really fallen in love with her? By my sword, I swear King Flash is bewitched. He doesn't know where he is or what he's doing. I know he wasn't pretending when he failed to recognize me. What makes you so sure? His eyes had a dull and glassy look. Why, yes. I remember. 
I saw that too. When he looked at me, it was as though he looked through me instead of at me. If only I could reach my men. Uh, if there are any left. I don't know what happened after Azura broke that gas bomb in our faces. Captain Khan. Yes? If you obey all the guards' orders, they may put you on parole or something. That may give you the freedom of the palace. An excellent idea. Excellent. Thank you, Princess. Thank you. I will be the most obedient slave in the kitchen and see if that will earn me some privileges. I will obey, too. Oh, Captain Khan, we must do something to save Flash and that wicked woman. Do not worry, Princess. We will find a way somehow. Here you. Carry that kettle over to the table. Certainly, guard. Uh, let me take this one also. Huh? Meanwhile, roaring through space in a fleet of rocket ships with Prince Zarkov in command, an army of hawkmen are hurrying on their way to aid our friends. Suddenly, there looms up in front of them a whole squadron of cloud men with huge, billowing cloaks. Joining hands and spreading the cloaks, the cloud men form an opaque and impenetrable wall before the rocket ship. The hawkmen try to maneuver above them, but they rise at the same speed. Then the hawkmen try to fly below them, but they drop like lightning and present their solid barrier. Wheeling the fleet around, Zarkov signals for the Dissalvo guns mounted on the nose of each rocket ship to start firing. <coughs> shot after shot is fired at the white billows until the path of the Hawkmen has been cleared. Then Zarkov signals for double speed ahead to make up for lost time. At the same time, in the Palace of Azura, Flash is entertained by the Queen. That gold armor isn't worthy of you, my prince. I must see to it that my armor will make something more fitting. My beautiful Azura, the armor is but a symbol of your service. Even if it were made of the most precious and rare metals to be obtained and studded with jewels, my loyalty to you and your cause could not be greater. You do love me, don't you, Flash? I know of no one in the past, present, or even the future for whom I have felt such a deep love, my gorgeous queen. No one, my handsome prince? No one. It is you and you alone I love. It is sweet. Very sweet to hear you speak those words. As long as you do and mean them, I will reward you well. To be with you, to be allowed to serve and love you is all the reward I desire, my darling. <laughs> I shall have to think up some special privilege for that pretty speech. Then let me kiss your hand. Here, my prince. Fair hand. So delicate, so shapely. Ah, how many men have lost their hearts and heads trying to gain you. <laughs> Flatterer. I only speak from my own reactions, Azura. I know that I should be willing to risk everything to win you for myself. We shall see. We shall see. Flash, I must give some orders to the servants. Go out into the garden and wait for me. I will join you presently. Your slightest wish is a command, my beautiful one. Flash! Flash! Eh? Who's calling me? It's Dale. Dale Arden. Oh, oh, there you are. I see you now. There in that grilled window. What are you doing there, girl? I'm a prisoner here, Flash. Ever since I dropped that tray of food. Oh, yes. I, I wondered where I'd seen you. You you tripped, and Azura ordered you punished. He has had me chained to the galley stove. My chain just reaches to this window. Are you all right, Flash? Am I all right? <laughs> of course I am. Why shouldn't I be? Did you think Azura had punished me for something, too? No. I just wanted to know how you are. Well, that's very kind of you, girl. And since you've taken such an interest in my welfare, I'll take an interest in yours. How can you? You're too young and pretty to be made a prisoner in the kitchen. I'll ask Azora to free you. Oh, no, you mustn't. Mustn't? Who says so? I shall ask Azora at once. Oh, no, Flash. You mustn't. On and on roar the rocket ships of the Hawkmen into the yawning mouth of Kira, through the caverns of the cliff dwellers, through the caves of living, man-eating plants. And finally they come into the enormous transparent cave where the handfuls of survivors from Khan's squadron are waiting. The fleet lands and Prince Zarkov is the first to get out. The lieutenant who called for aid on the space phone comes up to him. Well, what is the latest news, Lieutenant? We were afraid something had happened to you, Prince Zarkov. We were delayed in a skirmish with the cloudmen. What is the latest report on the fate of my friends? 
So we don't know what happened to them. After the Blue Magic Men captured King Flash and Princess Dale and our captain, they blasted the tunnel leading to their land, killing most of our men. Is there any chance that Flash and his companions are still alive? Who knows? That is a land of magic. I have brought a battery of ray cannons with us. We will blast our way to my friends. <laughs> Unaware of their impending danger as Zura and Tal confer in the palace of the Blue Magic Men. You understand, Tal? Oh, perfectly, Your Majesty. There is nothing too good in my whole kingdom for my new prince. His every wish shall be obeyed, O Queen. His slightest whim fulfilled. I do not know what I shall do with his companions. They are a problem. I do not want them around, and yet I, I cannot execute them. If the lithium should wear off and Flash discovered what I had done... Adora! Adora! Where are you? Flash. I told him I would only be a minute. The dear boy is so mad about me, he cannot bear to have me out of his sight. Adora! Adora! Open the door, Tor. At once, O Queen. Here I am, Flash. Azora, will you do... Oh, uh, I beg your pardon. I didn't know you were still busy. Tor, Tor, come quickly! I, uh, I am summoned, Your Majesty... Have I your permission? Yes, Tall. Go. Uh, your Majesty. Well, Flash, were you lonely without me? Is that why you came calling for me? Azora, you're good and kind. This sounds like a man who has a favor to ask. I have, my queen. Ask it. It shall be granted. Thank you, Azora. I knew you were kind and good. She will be so grateful. See? Who? The girl who tripped while serving us food the other night. Dale. Was the favor you asked for her? Yes. She called to me from a window of the kitchens and told me she was chained to the galley stove. Well? I promised to ask you to free her, and you have. Wait. I thought the favor was for yourself, Flash, not one of my prisoners. Well, there's nothing I need for myself, Azura, and the girl is too young and too pretty to deserve such a fate. I thought you just and kind to not cause me to change my mind. You make it hard for me, Flash. I've never freed a prisoner in my life. I... Your Majesty. What does this unceremonious sentence mean, Tall? I did not send for you. I humbly pray your pardon, Your Majesty, but I have news of the most extreme urgency. Speak, then. Our land is being invaded by the Hawkmen. Hawkmen? We must go forth to war. The army must be called out. I will press the signal. to lead your men into battle, old queen. Of course. I must appoint someone to head the army. Will you lead our men into battle, Flash? Your Majesty. Serving as your commander-in-chief would be a pleasure, my queen. Her Majesty puts this stranger over me. Let her beware. What will happen when Flash leads Queen Azura's magic men against the gallant Hawkmen? Follow the adventures of Flash Gordon in next Sunday's Comic Weekly, the world's greatest collection of humor and adventure. You will find it with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. See for yourself in full-colored pictures Flash Gordon, Queen Azura, Powell, or Chief Magician, and all the other characters you have just heard. Then, of course, you'll want to see Skippy, the Captain Yammer Kids, Jungle Jim, bringing up Father and the Little King. You will find them waiting for you in next Sunday's Comic Weekly, the only Comic Weekly. Be sure and get the big, full-colored Comic Weekly with your Hearst newspaper next Sunday. And don't forget to listen again next week at the same time to another chapter in the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon.
presenting the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. Last week, you remember, King Voltan received a call from one of Khan's lieutenants, telling him of the plight of Flash, Dale, and Khan, and asking for help. Dr. Zarkoff was at once dispatched with an army and some ray cannon to the rescue of our three friends. In the meantime, Dale and Khan planned to obey all orders so they might get the freedom of the palace and hoped to be able to free Flash from the clutches of Queen Azura. For a brief moment, Dale talked with Flash, who, although he didn't recognize her, pitied the beautiful girl chained to the kitchen stoves and promised to ask the queen to free her. Before he could gain Azura's consent, Tall interrupted the conference with the news that the land was being invaded by the Hawkmen. Azura called out the army and asked Flash to be commander-in-chief. This angered Tall, who wanted that distinguished place for himself. These thrilling adventures come to you as they are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The big Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Now we continue the story. Summoned by Azura, legion after legion of blue magic men fall into formation. Flash prepares to assume his new duties as commander-in-chief. Azura, how large is your army? I do not know exactly. Then the first thing to be done is to review the regiment. I must know what strength of armed men I have at my disposal. Very well. Come under this balcony, Flash. From here you will have a good view of the parade ground. Azura, I wish to have your army... Our army, my prince. Our army, pass in review. Will you give the order, please? When I asked you to become commander-in-chief, I gave you full command of the armed forces. Thank you. Carl? Sire. Send word for formation past this balcony. As you command, sire. Serving as your commander-in-chief is a pleasure, Azura, but it is also a great responsibility. Not too great for you, my noble prince. I shall do all in my power to prove worthy of your faith. goes the call to review. See, the first legion is squealing and starting this way. What a splendid army. We ought to defeat these hawk men, whoever they are. Here comes the finest of them all, the advanced guard. And those coming next, what are they? The light magic artillery. But what are those tremendous objects being pulled by the next legion? Those are the combustion ray machines. Combustion ray machines? What are they for? Wait until you get into action. Your officers will tell you. You're not only a queen of magic, my beautiful one, but you're also a queen of suspense. What legion is this? A sleep gas. Sleep gas. That sounds like a most formidable weapon. And here comes the stone formation legion. And the ones with the cloak? The invisibility legion. And those? The camouflage legion. Who are the ones with the long hair? The animal legion. And those men with the peculiar shield? The transparent wall legion. And those machines coming now? The dissolvo gun legion. And still they come. Legion after legion. I've never seen such an army. You have seen enough, sire. Only about half of our regiment have gone by. If this is only half of the army, Tall, I pity these hawkmen when I start the attack. While Flash is looking over his army, Prince Zarkoff is in conference with Mar, one of the Hawkmen's officers. We must find out if Flash and Dale and Khan are still alive before we make any rash attacks, Mark. You are quite right, Commander Zarkoff. Turn on your spacecraft and let us see what we can see. Look, Commander. There's a large rock. It must be the rock which is blocking the entrance of the cave, through which Flash, Dale, and Captain Khan disappeared. We cannot see beyond it. There is only one thing to be done. Blast it out of our way. Shall I order the battery of ray cannon into position? At once. Swing the battery of ray cannon into position. Aim for the rock. I hope we are not too late to save them. Oh, I hope not too. Captain Khan is too good an officer and friend to lose. Ready with the range? They have found the range, Commander. You may fire. Fire! Look, the rock is spinning. 
got it. The rock is destroyed. Come on. Let us try the spectrograph again. Nothing but haze. The country is well named. Blue Magic Land. Foiled by that witch queen. Mark, there is only one thing left now. And what is that, Commander? Call for a volunteer to go into the territory of the Blue Magic Men and find out the information we wish. Of course. A spy. Commander, I myself will go. No. We cannot spare you, Mark. Send one of the private. No, Commander. I will not ask any of my men to do what I would not do myself. You are a brave man and a fine officer. I shall speak to King Bhutan about promoting you when I return to his palace. Thank you, Commander. As Dura has thrown up a protective and impenetrable fog against our spacecraft, but we may be able to beat her yet. And how do you propose to do that, Commander? It is simple, simple. Mar, you will disguise yourself as a peddler and gain entrance to the Queen's palace. Well, how? Say that you wish to enter her service. Inside your peddler's pack, you will have a portable space phone. Oh, Commander, you have my utmost admiration. It is the plan of a genius. A super strategist. When you have found out the information we seek, establish contact with me here, and I shall proceed on your report. Very good, Commander. When shall I start on my mission? At once. Commander, I shall give you the information all my life. Next day, Tal is called to the gates of Azura's palace to question a peddler who has asked admittance. Uh, who are you? I am a poor peddler, footsore, weary, and hungry. Uh, I seek shelter, O oh, noble sire. I am Tal, chief magician to Her Majesty, Queen Azura. I bow before you, great Tal. Uh, oh, mighty wizard, let me enter the service of the queen. You will find in me a zealous neophyte. Uh, you are a peddler. Why are you so anxious to change your profession? I can hardly make a living. Soon I shall have to turn beggar. Let me devote my life to being of some use to the queen. Oh, you, you might be of use. Uh, uh, what is your name? Why, come, come. If you accept me into your household and give me a new life, let me take on a new name also. Let my name die with my path. Mm, very well. I I will open the gate. Bless you, mighty tall. Bless you. Mm. Now, come this way. I will take you to the kitchen and give you food. Oh, yes. Um, you uh, bring some soup to this man. At once, almighty wizard. Oh, sit down, stranger. Uh, let me take your pack. No, no, no. Well, you needn't take my head off. I wasn't going to steal it. I only intended to have it put in your quarters. I I am grateful, mighty tall. Mm. But all I own is in this bundle, and I should feel lost without it. Here is the... Uh, look out! Look! Don't spill that soup. That would be wasteful when I am so hungry. Yes, yes, you clumsy fool. There must be no waste of the food around here. Do you know what happened to the girl when she dropped her tray in front of the queen? I ask pardon, almighty tall. Uh, it was my anxiety to please that caused my hands to tremble. Uh, see that it does not happen again, slave. Uh, eat your fill, stranger, while I go to find out where Her Majesty wishes me to put you. Smart. Someone may hear you. Oh, you are safe, Captain Khan. Thanks be to Tao. Yes. What are you doing here? How did you get here? Where are the rest of our men? One question at a time, Captain. I was sent here by Prince Zarkov to find out what happened to you and Flash and Dale. Where are the other two? Dale is at the other end of the kitchen, chained to the stove. And Flash... He is not... No, he isn't dead. Oh. But drugged. He doesn't recognize either Dale or me. Azura has cast a spell over him. Oh, if I were only free... Don't curse your face, Captain Khan. I'm here to help bring aid. How can you... Once you get in here, they never let you out. I don't need to get out in order to bring aid. What? What do you mean? In this bundle, I have a portable space phone. Ah. Over it, I'm going to report to Zarkov everything I find out. Then hurry and send a message. Tell him we are alive and that he must come quickly. They seem to be mobilizing the army for an attack. Well, where can I go to send it? Tal may come back any minute. Let us go where Dale is. She can watch for Tal's return. We can put the ground wire of the space phone outside the grilled window, and there will be less interference. 
Come along. Where are you two going? The peddler feels faint in this heat. I am helping him to that window yonder where he may get a breath of air. All right. Go ahead. Come on, you slaves. Get to work. Oh, that was a close call, Captain. Yes. We must work fast. Dale. Yes, Tom? What is it? Oh. This is, this is Captain Ma. He has been sent by Prince Darkoff to find out about us. Oh, Captain Ma, I'm so glad you've come. Are you going to get us out of here? I hope so, Princess. But first I must report to Zarkov by space phone. Dale, go over there as far as your chain will let you. Watch for Tal or the guard. I will watch from here while Mars sets up his machine. At once. The coast is clear. Hurry! Captain Marr calling Prince Zarkov. 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 At the same time, Prince Zarkov in the far-off kingdom of the Hawkmen is trying to establish a space phone connection. Zarkov calling Captain Marr. Zarkov calling Captain Marr. No answer, Prince Zarkov. No answer. He should have arrived, and we should have received a report by now. The blue magic men are marching to attack us, Prince Zarkov. Sentry, at just sight of them. Bring me my distance glasses. Here, Prince Zarkov. Ah, I see them. And they're Splash on horseback. They must have tied them on and are using him to bait us into attacking them. Very well, we shall call their bluff. Coiner, order the first company of Lancers to charge. The first lancers, the greatest flyers in the Hawkmen army, circle to a dizzy height and at a signal from their leader, fold their wings and dive for Azura's army. Down at the head of the armed blue magic men, Flash and Azura watch the diving Hawkmen. Here come the Hawkmen, my twin. I see them, Azura. I'm just wondering which battery I shall train on them. I suggest you use the guns of the combustion rain machine. What will happen if I do? Order them used and see. Very well. Hawkmen! Swing the combustion ray guns into action. What is the secret of the great combustion ray machine? Will the gallant hawk men under Professor Zarkoff be able to overcome it and rescue Flash Gordon and Dale Arden? In next Sunday's Comic Weekly, which is a part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper, you will find a full-colored picture of the combustion ray machine. Also, a thrilling action picture of the Hawkmen in battle formation. See if you can guess how the combustion ray machine works and what will happen to the Hawkmen. And besides Flash Gordon, you'll find all your old friends waiting to entertain you in the Comic Weekly. Full-color pictures of the merriest funny men and bravest adventurers ever assembled in all picture magazines. Think of it, bringing up Father, the Little King, Polly and her pals, the Cats and Yammer Kids, Jungle Jim, Trips and Casper, Barney Google, Good Old Skippy, Mickey Mouse, and many, many others. Yes, they'll all be there with new pranks and more thrilling adventures to entertain you. For the Comic Weekly is the world's biggest and best pictorial supplement of fun and adventure. So once more we suggest you get the big Comic Weekly with your Hearst newspaper next Sunday. Study the Flash Gordon pictures and see if you can guess what will happen when Professor Zarkoff and his gallant Hawkmen come face to face with the combustion ray machine. Be sure to listen for the answer next week at this time when we will present another chapter in the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. Presenting the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon.
Last week, you remember, Flash Gordon reviewed the legions of the Blue Magic Men under his command, and Prince Zarkov blasted the rock which sealed the entrance to the Blue Magic Land and discovered that his spacograph was of no use in learning what happened to Flash and Dale and Khan. He sent a spy named Mar, equipped with a portable space phone, to obtain the information. Mar gained entrance to the palace of Queen Azura and contacted Khan and Dale, and they informed him of Flash's peculiar behavior. At the same time, Zarkov tries to call Mar the spy by space phone, but neither was able to contact the other. At that moment, the army of blue magic men attacked the Hawkmen, and Zarkov ordered his soldiers into battle. These thrilling adventures come to you as they are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Big Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue the story. Flash and Queen Azura watch the Hawkmen as they dive toward the army of the Blue Magic Men. Here come the Hawkmen, my prince. I see them, Azura. I'm just wondering which battery I shall train on them. I suggest you use the guns of the combustion ray machine. What will happen if I do? Order them used and see. Very well. Oh, men, bring the combustion ray guns into action. Fire. Ready? And fire. You may fire. Now you see, my prince, what the combustion ray machines do. They cough out flaming death. Yes, those fluttering hawkmen can't survive such devastating heat. Look, look, they are already dropping to the ground like moths with thinnest wings. All right, my queen. Oh, Paul. Fire. Let them have it again. are dropping like flies, sire, under your attack. Good work, my friend. Those men creatures will be easily subdued when we can bring them down to earth, Azura. Be careful you don't kill them all, flies. Remember, I'm always able to use a few more slaves. My beautiful Azura, I shall conquer these gnat-like intruders and turn them over to you to do with as you will. How brave and strong you are, my friend. I'm not doing this as proof of my strength or my bravery, Azura. I'm doing it as proof of my devotion. Ah, you do love me, then. You do not already realize that, my gorgeous queen. You will when this battle is ended. We'll see. Death for the invaders! Fire again! Fire again! In the meantime, on the other side of the flaming barrage, Zarkov holds an anxious conference with one of the officers of the remaining Hawkmen. Signal your men to retreat, Captain. There is nothing to be gained by flying into their fire. Very well, Prince Arco. Bugler, sound retreat. What are we to do now, Prince Arco? I do not know yet. What can have happened to Flash? We tried to rescue him and he seems to give the orders that mow our men down. Yes, I could swear I saw him raise his arm and give the signal that brought this sea of flame pouring on us, Prince Arco. Can he be... Oh, no. Can he be what, Your Highness? I dare not even whisper the thought, Captain. I must know. I must be sure before I breathe a word of my suspicion. If I may suggest, Your Highness, something must be done about our own safety. These flames are sweeping this way. Soon they'll engulf all of us. Eh? The flames? Oh, yes. Lead the men into that tunnel yonder. That tunnel? But, Prince Zarkov, there's no way in which to throw up a barricade to close out the flames. Leave that to me. Order those turbine thermostats roll just inside the tunnel entrance. But they will not completely close the opening, Your Highness. Oh, if we only had some stones. What? Stones to let them become heated and roast us all? Do as I say. I will keep the heat out. You will never feel those flames. I have a way to fight them until they die out. May I ask you how, Your Highness? Are you so stupid that I must draw a blueprint of my plan of defense? Oh, very well then, if I must give you every detail. Into those turbine thermostats, I will put this chemical powder made from a secret formula of my own invention. When we are all inside, I shall turn on the turbine thermostats and block the tunnel entrance with a wall of solid ice. While the battle rages, let us go back to the palace of Azura. There we find Dale and Khan and the spy, Mar. Try him again, Mark. 
Calling Prince Zarkov. Captain Marr calling Prince Zarkov. Tom, Marr, look out. The guard. Disconnect, Marr. Here comes the guard. What shall we do? Throw yourself across the space phone. So your cloak hides it. That's it. Play up to whatever I say. What's going on here? The traveler felt faint. I brought him over to this grill window for some air. It isn't everyone who can stand this intense heat charge. They all can't be as strong as we are. Weakly. But I thought I heard an odd sound and a voice calling out. You did. Oh, come. What was the meaning of it? In this man's country, they worship a different god from yours or mine. Well? In his hour of distress, the traveler was summoning the highest aid he could call upon. Oh, of course. Who doesn't? Uh, but that buzzing noise, what caused that? The buzzing noise? Yes, the buzzing noise. Oh, that? Yes, that. I didn't think you'd heard that over where you were. I can well believe that. Oh, Dale, take the guard over there and turn him with his back to me. I'll make the noise again, and I'll show him what made it. I'll wager he'll be surprised. Yes, Con, yes, of course. Come over here, guard. No tricks now, or you'll taste my electric whip. Mark, turn on the space phone. Stop when I tell you. Then when I nudge you, turn it on again. Very well, Con. Now. Well, guard, was that what you heard? Yes, what caused it? Well, look, in assisting the traveler, my manacles touched the stove. Like this. By the God! Watch out from now on, slaves. You may accidentally get electrocuted before we can do it ourselves. <laughs> oh, that was quick thinking, Captain Khan. Oh, Khan, you are wonderful to get out of that situation. I thought you took an awful risk in admitting the guard heard and noise. So denied it would have been foolhardy. If you're going to deceive someone, stay as closely to the truth as you can. Thanks. I'll remember that. But there's one situation I can't handle so easily. The one we're in. This space phone isn't going to work. How are we going to get word to Zarkon? I've got that all taken care of, Captain Khan. You have? Well, how will you do it? I myself shall take the information to him. Oh, my. You'll never get the Zarkov alive. They won't let you out. Oh, yes, they will. Who let me in here? Tal, the chief magician. Well, you mean Tal will let you out? But Tal's not here. He's away with the army. He is? Then that makes things all the easier. Be careful, Mars. These men are devils. They have powers and methods never seen before. Do not fear, Princess. Tall was the only one I spoke to about getting in here. I saw to it that we had a private conference. So? So nobody will doubt my word when I say that I was to join Tall after I'd rested. It may work. It may. It may. Oh, it will. It must. Mars? Yes, Princess. See that no harm comes to Flash. Dr. Zarkov should capture him. He may not understand why Flash acts as he does. I understand, Princess. I shall explain everything to Zarkov. And if, if you should be captured by the Blue Magic Man, yes. find out what hold the Witch Queen has over Flash and try to break the spell. If that is to be my fate, Princess, you may rest assured I will carry out your mission. When are you planning on leaving, Ma? Well, if I try to leave now, it might be difficult. Yes. I shall wait and take my departure tonight. Leaving our friends for the moment, let us return to the tunnel where Prince Zarkov and his Hawkmen have withdrawn to escape the terrific heat of the combustion ray machine. As the Hawkmen fled into the tunnel, Flash and his officers pursue them, only to be brought up short at the entrance by a wall of solid ice, which Zarkov had miraculously formed with his secret chemical formula. While Flash and his companions reconnoiter outside the entrance to the tunnel, Tal and Azura remain behind the line. Of course, if your majesty knows best, but if my advice were asked... I am not asking your advice, Tal. Oh, of that I am well aware, Your Majesty. But must I take the liberties of an old and faithful retainer? Mighty Queen, do not let your personal feelings entrap you. My personal feelings? What do you mean? Your Majesty has taken a fancy to this young unknown... Tal. Oh, I mean no offense, Your Majesty. As a consort and companion, the youth is without criticism. But is he the best thing for our fair land? You mean, will he make a good king? If your majesty thinks of him in terms of king, I mean, will he make a good king? I am very sure he will make a good king, Tor. Your majesty was also sure of luck and gold. Ah, those. How can you be sure of one who is not even sure of himself? Flash has protected his love for me day after day. Why, even when the attack began, you heard him say he was repelling it, not to show his bravery or his strength, but to prove his devotion to me. I was not speaking of his personal assurances, Your Majesty. Well, of what then? Of his ability to handle the legions at his disposal. When the attack began, 
Did he not confess himself to be in a quandary as to which battery he should train on them? A careful general always surveys his position. But he makes up his own mind. Your new commander-in-chief relied on your advice, Your Majesty. And wasn't it good advice? Oh, there is no better judgment in our fair land, Your Majesty. Then what is your point, Saul? What is it you are trying to say? Why have a figurehead in charge of our legions? Figurehead? You can't have a commander who can handle situations as they arise. Why don't you take charge yourself? Ah, I see it now. You want me to demote Flash and appoint you in his place. If Your Majesty feels that perhaps... An older and more experienced man, and especially one of our own people, could serve better. Why, I should be delighted to accept the honor, Your Majesty. There is some reason for this diplomatic move on your part. What is it? Are the men rebellious because I appointed Flash instead of one of their own number? I am no bearer of gossip, Your Majesty. What others may think is their own business. If they wish to let you know their feelings, they have ways and means to do it. I, I speak only in your own interest and with the liberty of your major domo. I do not doubt your words, Paul, but I think you speak one word for me and two for yourself. You honestly think Flash is incapable of making decisions for himself? I do, Your Majesty, I do. You have a chance to witness that for yourself. Our enemy has taken refuge in a tunnel and blockaded themselves with a wall of ice. Your commander has gone to look over the situation. When you would have... Charged with full forces and gone in after the enemy. Hmm, I see. Uh, Your Majesty, I am not trying to go behind your commander's back unfairly, no. I have given you my plan of action. what he has to say, and choose for yourself which ought to be at the head of the Blue Magic Army. Well, my prince, what have you to report? My beautiful queen, we found the enemy barricaded behind a wall of solid ice. There is only one thing we can do. And that is? Charge with full forces and go in after the enemy. Uh, you hear, Tor? You hear what Flash proposes? Yes, I hear, Your Majesty. Come, Azora. Together we shall lead the charge. All men, for the attack. Follow me. See these amazing characters in full-color pictures next Sunday in the Comic Weekly, which is an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Here is some news for you. Next Sunday, the famous full-page Comic Weekly will replace the tabloid with better and larger pictures and more easily read captions. What a treat is in store for you next Sunday with Skippy bringing up Father, the Little King, Barney Google, and all those other funny fellows just twice as large. You have enjoyed them in the tabloid size. How much better you will like them in the full-page Comic Weekly. Be sure to get the new full-page Comic Weekly with your Hearst Sunday newspaper next Sunday and enjoy a half-hour's good, clean fun with the foremost merrymakers in the world of pictures. And don't forget our date next week at this same time for another thrilling chapter in the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon.
Last week, Flash Gordon, at Queen Azura's suggestion, turned the combustion ray guns on the advance guard of the attacking Hawkmen and brought them to the ground in flames. Ordering his men to retreat, Dr. Zarkov led the way to a nearby tunnel where he shut out the flames with a wall of chemical ice. Back at the palace with Dale and Khan, Mar, the spy, decided on his daring attempt to find Dr. Zarkov and deliver his report, while Flash and his officers were reconnoitering outside the entrance to the tunnel in which Zarkov and his Hawkmen are barricaded, Paul tried to persuade Queen Azura that Flash was not capable enough to be commander-in-chief. At that moment, Flash rode up, and Paul urged Azura to listen to what he proposed and then choose which man was better qualified to head the army. Without hesitation, Flash declared that the only thing to do was charge and gave the order himself. These thrilling adventures come to you as they are pictured each Sunday in the big full-page Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The full-page Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your first Sunday newspaper. We now continue the story. With shouts and confusion, the Blue Magic Army charges to attack the barricaded Hawkmen. Suddenly, Paul, furious at being displaced as general by Flash, draws a bead on his back and pulls the trigger. Flash! Flash's horse stumbles and pitches forward dead. Flash is hurled to the ground. Paul! Stop charging! Azura gives the order to stop the charge and makes her way to Flash's side. Flash, my prince, are you hurt? Oh, speak to me, my glorious one. Flash, here, here, take his helmet, someone. Open your eyes, my beloved prince. Where am I? Dale. Quick, you. Give him some stimulant from the flask. That's it. Hi. Azura. My beautiful one. What happened? Oh, you're all right. And no thanks to Tarl here. Your Majesty. What? You what? shot at Flash's back. Oh, no, no. I saw you. It's lucky your hand wasn't steady. But for making an attempt on Flash's life, you shall die. By my sword. No, no, Your Majesty. I, I beg of you. Wait. Don't kill him, Azura. He deserves to die. His was an act of greatest treachery. No, no. It was an accident. I swear it, Queen Azura. It was an accident. Let him go, Azura. I'll take his word for it. It's growing dark and we can't afford a moment's delay. Very well. So I'll get behind the lines and thank your prince's generosity that you live. Uh, thank you, sire. Uh, thank you, gracious queen. And now for a fresh mount. My horse is dead. Take my horse, Flag. Very well. Wait. It's growing darker with each second. It will be better to camp here for the night and attack at daylight. But the hawkmen may escape during the night, Azura. Not if we keep the combustion ray guns trained on them. True, Azura. Oh, men, lay siege to the tunnel with the combustion ray guns. Start the barrage of combustion rays as soon as the rain can be found. And tomorrow morning, my queen, but come, I will tell you of my plan. I hope they aren't all military ones, my queen. That night, back in Azura's palace, the chief cook closes the kitchen until the morning shift will come on, and Dale and Khan march out with the other slaves. I'm worried, Khan. There's nothing to worry about, Princess. Ma is taking an awful risk. He'll never be able to find his way through the enemy line to Dr. Sarkov. Uh, leave it to Ma. He was clever enough to get himself into the palace. He'll get back to Sarkov somehow. Halt! Oh! Slaves, to your quarters! Tom, yes? do you really think Ma will get to Zarkov in time to warn him? Of course. I heard one of the guards say their army had the Hawkmen bottled up in a tunnel someplace. If that is so, Princess Zarkov can't be very far from here. It ought to be easy for Ma to see the lights of the campfires and so make his way straight to the lines. Oh, I hope he gets there in time. So do I. Zarkov may not know why Flash is at the head of the Blue Magic Men. He may think he's a traitor and shoot him down on sight. True, Princess. But on the other hand, Flash, not recognizing Zarkov as his friend, may kill him. Oh, no, Khan. Ma must get through those lines. If he doesn't, something terrible would happen. I know it. Don't worry, Princess. I know Ma to be a fine officer and a brave soldier. He'll get words with his heart off or die in the attempt. Oh, don't say that, Tom. It makes you grow cold all over. I'm sorry, Princess. I only wish to convey to you how hard Ma will try to carry out his mission. If Ma gets to Zarkov and tells him about Flash, the great scientist may be able to get him out of the wicked queen's power. That's what I'm hoping, Princess. 
I'm only a rough soldier. I know nothing of drugs and chemicals. We need Zarkov and his great knowledge. I'm sure he could help us. Tom. Yes? It's odd how long the effect of that drug has lasted on Flash. Don't you think so? Yes, I do. At first, I thought it might be put in his food. But I watched every morsel of that prepared. It's taken from the same pans and kettles as the jewelry. And nothing happens to it in the kitchen. Perhaps the Zura gives it to him. Most likely. Well, she has a splendid opportunity to renew the drug now, out on the field of battle. If she needs to renew it. Why, what do you mean, Princess? Tom, sometimes I wonder if Flash is under the spell of the Queen's magic drug or under the spell of the Queen herself. She is a beautiful and attractive woman. You mean that Flash is pretending he doesn't know us? That his mind is perfectly clear? Yes. Oh, no, Princess. Flash Gordon is not capable of such deceit. I hope you're right, Tom. I've tried and tried to believe my thoughts are just my own imagination. The Flash really and truly was under some strange drug. But the effect has been so lasting, I'm beginning to doubt he's in love with me. You must never think that, Princess. I don't blame you for having such thoughts. This whole thing must be terribly hard on you. You've been brave and loyal so far. You must start weaken now. Promise me you won't weaken, Princess. Thank you for your encouragement, Tom. I have been foolish to doubt Flash. I won't doubt any more. I promise. Good. Look, here comes Mara. You must be ready to start. I've come to say goodbye, friends. You're leaving now? Yes, for the seventh gate. Will you see that the coast is clear while I slip out? Of Certainly. Course. Then let us hurry. A soldier just came in from the battlefront. He says that Blue Magic Army has besieged the Hawkmen in the tunnel, ten miles from here. What did I tell you, Khan? That guard was right. They had Dr. Zarkov bottled up. The Queen's army is in camp for the night. I will attack in the daylight. I must get through and warn Zarkov. Don't forget to explain to him about Flash. No, I won't, Princess. Here comes the guard. Step back into the shadows, Mark. Who's that? We're getting a breath of air before going to our quarters. Very well. Don't delay too long. All right, Mark. You can come out. Thank goodness you were with me. Well, from here on, I'm on my own. Goodbye, Princess. Goodbye, Mark. And good luck. Thank you. Success to you, Comrade Mark. Now, be of good cheer, both of you. Zarkov shall soon be here. Goodbye. Good luck. Who goes there? The stranger. Where are you going? To join Tal. He ordered me to join him as soon as I rested. Then why are you sneaking out the back way? Why don't you leave by the main gate? I'm not sneaking. Besides, this gate will save me many steps. You're not going out this way, stranger. Go back into the courtyard. You will regret this act, guard, when Tall hears of it. That may be so, but I'll chance it. My orders are to allow no one to leave by this gate. Is that so? Drop that sword. Make me drop it. Right. Just as the dawn breaks in the east, the blue magic army rouses from its camp and prepares to attack the Hawkmen. I am ready, my friend. Good. I'll give the orders to charge. Wait. Let us drink a toast before we enter battle. Here, my prince, to victory. To victory and you. Sicily said, my prince. And now, let us charge the enemy and capture them. <laughs> my impetuous hero. You would think you were out hunting. Flash, you are attacking a fierce and warlike army, the dreaded horsemen. I've never heard of them. They mean nothing to me. You are sure of that? Certainly. Why do you ask? I wondered. That devil Tal. He's been saying things against me. He told you that because I'm a stranger in your land, I'm not to be trusted. Well, he has intimated that, I admit. He's a jealous fool. I know he's angry because you appointed me instead of him. But I didn't think you'd lose faith in me, Azora. Lose faith in you? I see it now. You had me delay until morning so that you might decide whether to trust me to lead the charge. And even now, you can't make up your mind. Very well. I'll make it easier for you. What? What are you going to do? Azura, I hand you my sword and my resignation as commander-in-chief of your army. There. Flash, wait. Well? Oh, my impulsive prince, you misunderstand. It wasn't because I have lost faith in you that I asked that question. Another reason prompted me. Ah, oh, but never mind that. To show you my faith in you is not shaken, here is your sword again. You are still my commander-in-chief. Azura, you humble me. I deeply appreciate your confidence. 
Forgive my action of a moment ago. I accept my command again. And I'll fight twice as hard in your behalf. I'm sure you will, Clay. And now, my queen, to prove my words with action. I'll give those orders to charge. Wait. I have something for you. What? Slaves, bring it here. What is that? A torpedo. When you get close enough to the Hawkmen, throw it into their midst. But I thought you didn't want to kill them. The torpedo does not kill. But when it explodes, its fumes will turn the Hawkmen into icy statues. Wonderful. Ah, my beautiful queen. How can anyone hope to fight against you? I go to conquer in your name. All men, for the attack. Follow me. Meanwhile, inside the tunnel, Zarkoff and his men wonder at the sudden stopping of the combustion ray bombardment, which has been going on all night. The bombardment has stopped. That is very strange. Well, perhaps Azura has given up Prince Zarkoff. No, more likely it means an attack. Look, Commander, someone is running up to the entrance alone. What is this, some kind of trick? It may be. Look, there comes the enemy. They are shooting at our visitor. Yes. See the little clouds of dust rising from the ground behind him. Commander, it's Captain Mars. Mars! Quickly, cut the hole in the ice. Get him inside. Yes. Oh. Hurry, men, hurry. He will be killed if you do not get him inside. Ah, that's it. The hole is big enough to talk through now. Mars! Pentaka! Pentaka! The enemy! Hurry, men. Get that ice broken through. What have you to report, Mars? Pentaka! The enemy are right behind me. I had hoped to get in here in time to, to warn you. I Pull him inside, men. Mm-hmm. Commander. Commander Flash Gordon is up. He's hit. Mm-hmm. Pull him inside. Flash Gordon is what? Mar. Mar. Beat man. Mar. They've killed him, Commander. Mar is dead. Dead. Just as he was going to reveal something about Flash. Poor fellow. Faithful to the end. Here comes Flash Gordon now, riding ahead of the Blue Magic Army. Ahead of the enemy? Yes. Can he have deserted? Are they after him, too? Stand aside. Let me be the first to welcome Flash to our ranks. Flash Gordon! Flash, my friend! Look out, Commander. He's throwing a bomb! What will happen to Dr. Zarkoff and the gallant Hawkmen when the freezing fumes of the bomb turn them into living icicles? Follow these thrilling adventures in full-color action pictures next Sunday in the Comic Weekly, which is an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. The Comic Weekly, as you know, is now printed in full-page size, not tabloid. No change in the features, but bigger and better pictures and more easily read captions. All your favorites will be there. Bringing up Father, Skippy, Trips and Casper, The Little King, Barney Google, The Captain Yammer Kids, and many, many others. What a treat is in store for you next Sunday in the big, full-page, full-color Comic Weekly. So be sure you get the Comic Weekly next Sunday with your Hearst Sunday newspaper and enjoy a half hour's good, clean fun with the foremost merrymakers in the world of pictures. And don't forget to tune in next week at the same time and learn what happened to Dr. Zarkoff and the gallant Hawkmen in the next chapter of the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. (laughs) 
Last week, Flash Gordon narrowly escaped death when Saul, the jealous general, fired at his back and caused him to be thrown from his horse. Queen Azora would have killed Saul with her sword, but Flash nobly spared his life. That night, Mara the spy learned of the Blue Magic Army's plan to attack the Hawkmen at daybreak and escaped from the palace to warn Zarkov and tell him the reason for Flash's strange behavior. Next morning, Azura gave Flash a torpedo to hurl when he got close enough to the Hawkmen. As the attack began, Mara the spy reached the entrance to the tunnel, but just as he was about to reveal the secret of Flash's failure to recognize his friend, Mara was killed by a ray from the guns of the Blue Magic Men. At that moment, Flash Gordon was sighted riding straight for the tunnel. And Dr. Zarkov, thinking he was deserting the Blue Magic Army, went out to welcome him to the ranks of the Hawkmen. When Flash reached the entrance to the tunnel, he pulled his horse to a stop and hurled the torpedo, which immediately exploded. These thrilling adventures come to you as they are pictured each Sunday in the big full-page Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. A full-page Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue the story. With shouts and tumult, the army of blue magic men with Queen Azura at their head reached the tunnel entrance. Azura, it worked. It worked. The enemy are frozen into icicles. Of course it worked, my prince. Didn't I tell you what would happen when you threw the torpedo? You're wonderful, Azura. Why are men such fools as to try to fight against you? They don't for long. Azura, do you know this man, frozen with his hand upraised? Do you? No. But... But what? Well, it seems as though I should know him. Here, drink this vodka. It will refresh you after your hard ride. Why do you think you should know this man, my prince? When I rode up to throw the torpedo, this man came out of the tunnel with his hand upraised. Just as it is now. He may have been about to surrender. No, no, he didn't say anything about surrendering. He spoke to you? What did he say? He called, Flash Gordon, Flash, my friend. He surprised me so, I almost forgot to throw the torpedo. <laughs> Thank the God you didn't forget. Why should this man call me friend? I've never seen him before. It was a trick, Flash. When he saw you carrying the torpedo, he tried to deceive you, to throw you off your guard. Well, it almost worked. You are a man of steel, my prince. What self-control you have. Ah, you are truly the man of my heart. Am I, my beautiful one? It makes me very happy to hear you say that. My prince. Hal? Your majesty. Have the prisoners carried back to my palace. Be very careful of this one. Oh, yes, your majesty. Your command shall be obeyed to the letter, your majesty. Uh, uh, Captain... Why are you so particular about the man who calls me? Flash, did you ever hear of a man called Zarkov? 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 No, Azora, I've never heard of him. Who is he? That is the man who calls to you. In his own country, he is a wizard. That wall of chemical ice which protected him and his men from our combustion rays is an example of his magic skill. <laughs> I don't wonder you handle him with care. He should be a most valuable man to have around. You see my point exactly. I shall have Tal revive him when they get back to the palace. And by the way, Flash... Uh, yes, Azora? The fumes of the torpedo sometimes cause strange reactions. So if you meet this Zarkov and he insists on calling you friend, remember that was the last thing on his mind before the torpedo exploded. I quite understand, Azora. Good. And now, my victorious prince, shall we celebrate? Back in the palace, Tall carried out the Witch Queen's order. He strapped the frozen Zarkov to a table, then he tipped it into the rays of an electro therapeutic revivifier. Uh, uh, take care of this one, she said. Mm, I wonder why. Has her case changed from youth to middle age? Mm. If so, I, I must see what I can do to win her favor. Mm. Ah, you are thawing out, are you? Uh, good. I'll give you a little more heat. Uh, how's that, stranger? Oh, be careful. The current's on full strength. 
You know what that may do? Oh, oh yes, I, I didn't notice the, the indicator. Oh. Oh, be very careful of this one, she said. Hey, yes, Your Majesty. We'll take care of him. <laughs> uh, uh, you are coming around, are you? All right, stranger. Uh, loose the strap, slave. Uh, come on now, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, stranger, come on, get on your feet. Uh, Flash Gordon. Flash, my friend. Uh, Flash Gordon is not here. Who are you? Uh, what has happened? Where am I? You are a prisoner of Azura, queen of magic. And your friend, Flash Gordon, captured you. Now I know you. Uh, you... Uh, stand back. I have my sword point against your breast. One move and I'll run you through. I came to rescue Flash Gordon. Mm, rescue him. He doesn't need to be rescued. You mean, tell me the truth, you wizard of darkness. Has Flash turned traitor? Mm, he has drunk the Queen's magic drug and has forgotten you and his sweetheart, Dale Arden, and even his own identity. Thank the God. I was afraid the change was due to Flash himself. What is this drug of forgetfulness? Uh, lithium. Uh, God! Hello, sir? Uh, take this new slave to the kitchen until Her Majesty makes up her mind how she will dispose of him. Thank you, General Dow. Now, don't thank me. I had my way. You wouldn't be here now. March this way, slave. Wait. General Dow, uh, what has happened to Dale Arden? You will see her in the kitchen. She is alive, then? Yeah. And Khan. Khan? Oh, yes, that must be the other one. Yes, he's there, too. Uh, take him away, guard. Come along, slave. Yeah, here, you. Put this machine and apparatus away. Uh, clean up this room. These are the kitchens, I presume. Yes, but see that you don't presume too much around here. Oh, a joke. <laughs> Not bad. Stop laughing. Will be no joke if you start any trouble, and we have to electrocute you. Quite so, quite so. Why is that animal carcass placed between those machines? Those machines are two electrodes. Flaming rays are roasting the carcass. Mm, very interesting, very interesting. Electrodes, eh? A much quicker process than roasting in an oven. Dr. Zarko! Dr. Zarko! Dale! Dale Arden! Stay here, slave, while I get a set of manacles for you. Oh, Lieutenant, what's this? Oh, you're oh, safe. Oh. Ma reached you in time, and he got there safely. Yes, Ma reached me safely, Dale. But just as we were pulling him into the tunnel... He was killed? Yes. Oh. He was hit by a ray from the Queen's soldier. Poor Ma. Then he didn't tell you about Flash. No. He was killed just as he was about to. Oh, Dr. Zarko... I've been so lonely. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Flash has turned against me. He's completely forgotten me. No. Yes. He's in love with that wicked queen of magic. No, no, Dale. Flash has been drugged. He has lost his memory. Drugged? Yes. That's just what Khan and I thought might have happened. How did you find out? A general named Tao told me. Tao? That's the queen's right-hand man. Her chief magician. He ought to know. Oh. Dr. Zarkov, we must save Flash. Yes, Dale, we must save Flash. And ourselves, too. Oh, I'm so glad you've come. Con and I both wish you were here to help us. You know so much about science and electricity. Uh, where is Con? Tal said I would see him here. Well, in getting away from the palace, Ma went out the servant's gate. Con and I went with him to see that the coast was clear. Yes, and uh, go on. We saw him slip out safely. And the next thing we knew, the guard came after us to our quarters and blamed us for his escape. How could they have linked you with Ma? Oh, they had seen us talking together. Oh. And one of the inner guards had challenged us near the gate just before Ma slipped out. I see. But what has happened to Khan? They separated us. Khan is in a cell somewhere. They bring him in here to do his work and take him away again. I shall be glad to see him. Here's that fellow Tao. Well, what is going on here? Uh, get to work, slave. What is the hurry, Tao? We have got lots of time for work. Come, come, no back talk. Oh, you'll taste the electric whip. Oh, God! See that this new prisoner learns our magic discipline. Yes, General Tall. Yes, and you. Yes, General Tall. Prepare some little cakes and fill these two flagons with uh, vodka. Her Majesty and Flash 
with refreshments. Once, General Carr. Her Majesty is very particular about these solid gold flagons. See that Flash Gordon gets this large, uh, two-handled one. And Her Majesty, the smaller and more uh, delicately shaped one. Yes, General Carr. Well, well, what are you standing there for? Hurry, hurry. Can't you see that dragon's eyes over there flashing? What has that got to do with Dale Stark? Whenever Queen Azura wishes some bottle, those dragon's eyes light up. You can almost judge her mood from the flash of the eyes. Wonderful. Yes, I shall tell Her Majesty you are coming. Hurry now, hurry. I'm sorry I can't stay to talk with you, Dr. Zarkov. We have so much to say to each other. That is true, Dale. But we shall have plenty of time around here to talk later. Uh, you attend to your duty. In the meantime, until they get those manacles for me, I'll have a look around the kitchen. Very well. I'll take these in to Flash and Queen Azora. Well, it's about time. What kept you, girl? You think you had to make the bottle instead of just pour it? I'm sorry to be so long, Your Majesty. Come, Miss Order. This is a night of celebration and gladness. Let's not spoil it. As you say, my prince. Here, drink this vodka. Have one of these little cakes. I'm sure you'll like them. Thanks. I'll have one of the cakes. Nothing to drink with them? Well, I'll take a sip of the vodka to keep you company. Mm, my throat is hot. Give me that flagon, girl. You had a hard day of it, Azora. Ah, that tastes good. You're sure you don't care for any more, my prince? No, no more for me, thanks. Take the flagon and take the away, girl. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, Dr. Zarkov. I have it. I have the plan to save us all. You have? Oh, what is it, Dr. Zarkov? Get your tray down. There. Now, Dr. Zarkov, what is your plan? While you were gone, the guard slashed me with his electric whip. I have just thought of the way to repay him. Now I want you to knock over those dishes piled up there on that table. Then the guard will beat me. Oh, no, he won't. He has beaten others for less cause. Why won't he beat me? Because when you knock the dishes over, I will jump up on that platform... And grab one of those electrodes that is being used to roast the meat and swing its flaming ray on the chief cook and the guard as they stop for you. Oh, Dr. Zarkov, if the attempt should fail... Uh, do not think about that, Dale. It must not fail. Do as I tell you. Everyone's back is turn just now. Hurry. Very well. Here goes. Yeah, well, Dr. Well, Zarkov, well, save well. me. Stand back from that girl or I will bring you both to a crisp. Are the tables to be turned? Can Dr. Zarkov single-handed overcome Queen Azura's guards and rescue Dale Arden? See for yourself how he proposes to do this in big, full-color pictures in the Comic Weekly, distributed with all Hearst newspapers next Sunday. The Comic Weekly is the world's most popular supplement of humor and adventure. It is now printed in full-size pages, not tabloids. Every page of the Comic Weekly entertains like the star act in the variety show. For the big, full-page Comic Weekly is the world's greatest variety show of humor and adventure, with every act a headliner. So be sure to get the big full-page Comic Weekly with your Hearst newspaper next Sunday. Meanwhile, goodbye until next week, when we'll be back with another chapter in the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon.